It all started when I logged on the server in my very own treehouse. I was getting myself ready to go on another mining exhibition after powerfully making my own treehouse and massing the storm's already. I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. Look at it, and the trees. Anyway, after looking at my tree, I decided to go explore the rest of the deep slate caves in hopes I would find something interesting. And I did. Yeah, oh sure, it did take me like, to go through like a lot of miles, and I know I could have been there, but I was able to pull through. Anyway, here's a room portal that I found. It had obsidian and blue client obsidian. And a chest, it had a lot of flint and iron, but most importantly, a clock. So now I'll be able to tell what time it is in the overworld. And whenever I'm in the cave, it's safe to go out or when it's safe to stay inside. So anyway, after that, I decided to brave up and go explore that weird mineshaft structure I found the other day. I was, I was hoping I could find something in there. The only problem was that there was a spawn there. And like all the other spawners I explored with the others, this one was pretty dangerous. Whereas this one spawned in creepers, right in skeletons. And that actually started me because, yeah, you can fight the skeletons, but the skeletons are pretty fast. And I had creepers on the head. So if they explode, you're done for. And there are no blocks to protect you there. So I decided to go find my another way to get inside. Unfortunately, it let me into, into the caverns. In various case, dead ends and more caverns that led astray away from the area. But that's fine, because I didn't find a lot of coal there. Sure, there was some instances where I could have gotten there, but I was able to fail. See that? I'm able to kill that baby zombie without getting hit. How cool was that? Eventually, I found myself in the other village that I explored in the previous session. Or well, previous session ago, well, it's where I go. Anyway, that's where the case is, so I know how to shortcut. And also, that's where I discovered that you only need one sapling to regrow a maple tree. Which is pretty cool. Like, as you can see in that pumpkin match, I planted one maple sapling and it regrew into its full entirety, as if nothing ever happened. So that's pretty cool. And it also opened a lot of possibilities. So anyway, it was raining, and that's when I, that's when I realized that there was a hole in my roof, so I had to build like some kind of rain structure to prevent the rain from getting inside my house. Looking at, and looking at my materials, I had to build out of spruce wood, since I had some of that stuff already. Hence why. Um, here's my hair and I'm trying to go through like a nearby spruce forest. I'll here to collect some spruce wood from my, for the mini build that I was planning. And I was able to find myself a decent tree to mine. Unfortunately though, as I was trying to get the saplings, this ash was struck. The clouds grew dark, but then the whole sky was dark as well. Before we know it, I was caught myself in a thunderstorm. And also at a moment, I got struck by lightning. I mean, what are the odds of that happening? Like, seriously though, I know it's like fine and everything, and I had to find my way back home, which was scary. Luckily though, there was only like one mob. I'm sure, it was a skeleton, but it was only like one mob. Like, it was just, if it was like various mobs, I would have been just dead straight away. But luckily, I was able to get home easily and, re and rest for the night. Still though, I was. <laughs> what are the odds of me getting struck by lightning at that exact moment? Seriously though. Okay, so enough deal with that and I had to get myself together and rebuild that structure. And with a lightning rod to prevent something like that from happening. And it did work, just not in the way that I, I expected it to work though. So here's me trying to going back inside the case, trying to find my another access point. But it seems that it always let tr need a spawner. So the solution was to try and go from, from up above. And as you can see me riding the waterfall, well, eventually I ride the waterfall up. And, oh, actually, here's me trying to go f the non-waterfall route, which failed miserably. So I decided to go through the waterfall route again. The only problem, actually, I was able, actually here's me actually finding a sweet spot. But the only problem was that there was an aquifer on top on top of that. Which is, I could just mine the blocks at random. I just had to find the specific blocks, but I had to be aware of the blocks. Of the things I mine. Yeah, so that's a big problem. Oh yeah, as, it, as you're hearing right now, another thunderstorm ensued, and various lightnings were being spawned. Which is strange, because usually that doesn't really happen very often. That only happens on, on rare occasions and whatnot. Yeah, that was like that. But either way, though, it was it was, it was pretty at random, uh, but in a short interval, which is really startling. To say the least. So yeah, that's what happened. So I, so I went back home when the wind, when the storm cleared up, and I found something. The lightning rod, like I said, it did work, just not the way I anticipated. 
See, it did, did have a strike of lightning towards it, but it didn't stop it from from burning down part of the part of the building. As you can see right here, part of the uh, part of the thing was actually burnt down. So I decided to tear it down and rebuild it out of new material. I decided to use polished soapstone because I had enough of that stuff already. And also that stuff doesn't burn down when it gets struck by lightning. Basically it's fireproof. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that, that hopefully that's able to work and able to prevent anything from catching fire. Again. And so here's me actually deciding actually debating and actually concluding that I need to go to the top. Or actually no. This is actually me debate so I'm concluding that I need to go through the aquifer itself. Not just the top, yeah. The actual aquifer. I had to find find a way to actually swim through the aquifer without drowning. Sure, I could have could have mined other blocks, but chances are that the yeah, that it would just be flooded and everything. So I so I needed like a lot of doors, which is pretty expensive already. But that's not even the craziest part. I've been hearing like weird bad noise. As you've heard, there were like weird bad noises, and did it what it wasn't until I saw this. Yeah, and apparently there are strange bats on the server. Not just a zombie one, but a, I think it's like a sand or dripstone bat. Yeah, pretty scary. Yeah, if I had the cursor, yeah, you can see like there, it's stuck on the wall. So luckily, it wasn't able to do any damage. But I wasn't able to risk it and get near it, so I decided to just call off there and consider the mining session over and retreat it back to my treehouse. Well, I'm trying to end off the episode. Yeah, if you guys, if you guys couldn't tell, this is actually a voiceover of me because as I was as I was trying to edit this vid this video, I found out that my microphone was wasn't recording. And, and some of the stuff I've been saying hasn't registered onto the recording system. So, so that's why this thing's a little off. So, so yeah, so my theory is that the, the strange thing that's been happening, the media getting struck by lightning, the various, light, the various lightning stuff, and the strange bat, all had to do with me trying to explore that, that weird uh, my house structure thing. Which, which actually leads to some to the point because if that was true, maybe there was something that I'm assuming that someone was trying to prevent me from getting. And by someone, I mean a certain wizard, or wizards, or maybe, or maybe some other supernatural being trying to stop me from getting there. But hey, who knows? It's all just a theory in the end. So yeah, thank you guys so much, much for watching this episode. If you're actually watching this, uh, sorry if the voiceover so poor. It's been a while since I've actually done a voiceover before. I usually like to do this in a moment because it's more exciting. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe for more videos, and please check my other content in the meantime. And I'll see y'all whenever in the next video. Take care and bye for now.